Welcome to the Epic Man Podcast, where we let our curiosities and theories run wild and sometimes talk relevant news. I'm Josiah, and with me today are my two friends and co-hosts, Ben and Mike. How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Good. I'm doing so good. I think Michael, so here. Michael, are you are you doing good? I was dancing, dude. I'm ready to. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm pumped. Yeah, I see that. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad to see that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, last, last week we were all kind of a little bit, you know, in a dark place. Well, Ben was yep. in a dark place, and Ben's always what? in a dark kind place. Of brought down the entire mood of the whole yeah. podcast, but you know, last week was fun. Last week was fun. Well, um, before the podcast, of, you were kind of like, Ugh. you got heated, bro. Yeah, you're like depressed. <laughs> And then uh, the podcast kind of brought you out of it because, you know, my joyful presence will will do that to ah, people. Yes. So. And then me <laughs> purposely antagonizing you constantly. <laughs> yes. no, some things never change, you know? <laughs> Both things I love. <laughs> well, we are your dads, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, right, you're right. How could I forget my two fathers? Your two fathers. Yeah, how could you forget us? <laughs> Rude. So, uh, anything special going on right now, guys, in your life? Anything super exciting happening? You know, I got some exciting news. Okay. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Next week. Freaking Mortal Kombat's coming out. Yeah. And I'm all for it. I'm so excited. Yeah. 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 We've been uh, hyped. I mean, yeah. Yeah. We're kind of starting to ramp up the hype for it and stuff. Uh, over at Geeks and Gamers and stuff, and uh, then our um, our channel <clears throat> to put in a little plug. Uh, Epic explains. Uh, Epic we're gonna start explains. doing some Mortal Kombat videos for that channel Ooh. as well. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, all I want is just like very gruesome, insane violence. That's all I want at the end of the day. I've heard so. I heard from early reviews that that's what we're getting. That's good. That's that is a good thing. That's what I want to see in my my Mortal Kombat. Uh, I mean, yeah. apparently, even um, one of the the stars in the movie gets like super like Lewis Tan. He gets like super grossed out whenever he says sees the aftermath of the fatalities on set and stuff. That's amazing. So yeah, <laughs> it's nice. it's gonna be a good time. Dude. Oh man, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be um, available in IMAX? Because if it is, we should go yes. Yes, watch it in IMAX. Yep. Ben would know. He's he's an expert so. at this. All right. Well, Ben's got it down. Ben knows what he's doing. Ben so. knows everything. I Apparently, know. I work at the movie theater. I I've got you know. That's some idea about how things work. Wow! Oh. Look at look at you, Ben. Look at you, Ben. Uh-huh. How how were how was the movie theater experience? It was uh, it was good. Every every time you, uh, every time I think about that, I just think about you just being in the bathroom, and just dying. <laughs> <laughs> your, your wife didn't she have to have to take you out of the theater in a wheelchair or something like that? <laughs> ben almost died in the theater while working um, there. <laughs> while working there, and for a little, a little while there, Ben used to just go. He used to go to work and he used to just fall asleep in the theater. Yeah. A day for hours. He doesn't work there now, so they can't fire him for it. But yeah, I'd be like, what you do? I don't even remember that. And I'm like, what'd you do, Ben? He just go. He's like, dude, I was falling asleep in the back yeah. of the theater. And then he's like, well, I'm I fall asleep here. I might as well work here too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then he got sick. He got sick there. Yeah, exactly. So That's exactly. Tried to kill him. His uh, his, his, he had. Let's just say. Him. Let's just say he had the rumbly tumblies. And uh, it was like really intense. It was really intense. Yeah, it was. And he was scary. like shaking, and he, he. I think you, you thought you were gonna die, right? Like you literally I thought know, you were going to like freaking die man. from the, the poops or something. I don't Whatever know. it was, <laughs> the danger poop. But didn't you try to poop and you couldn't? Yeah. And the so. <laughs> It was it the was death so it was just it was just total pain. <laughs> Hashtag death dookie, man. Like it was, it was, you don't know. And then you like horrible. you like we're crawling yeah. on the floor or something like that. And <laughs> you never know when your time's up, man. Like I thought it was just, up right there. Yeah. And then death and then dookie, you, man. It's just like, oh no. And then you die, and then your whole body would relax and all the shit would just, <laughs> just spray everywhere. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
just fill in the details because you're not Ben. So. Ben, you gotta tell us about this story. Listen, Ben, you have the best stories. Look, when when Ben told me the story for the first time after it happened, I was dying with just how hilarious it was. Just ben, the, the image the of his wife wheeling him out in a wheelchair. <laughs> And like at this point, so so at this point, uh, we're uh, I think we were. I don't engaged. think you were married yet, were you? No, we were engaged. I think. I think so. We, yeah. Well, we may have still been dating. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly when it was, but um, I uh, she also had to drive my drive me home in my stick shift, which she's she did had no. She, I literally just taught her how to drive stick, so I had to. Tra- <laughs> It was just, it was a terrifying experience all around. Let's just. What the, how do they, how do they fix you, Ben? <laughs> I just rested and then I was fine the next day. I don't so know what just, happened. You just chilled out and poo poo came. No, nothing ever came. <laughs> I just felt like I was dying for about, you know, 12 hours and then I was fine. Oh, it, man. It like hit out of nowhere. Like I all of a sudden started getting horrible stomach cramps and then I like, felt like i was gonna puke but i couldn't and then i like started in one bathroom and worked my way across the entire theater in different bathrooms and then at one at the at the final point i was like upstairs in like the event bathroom and i couldn't move i was like stuck on the floor and i like i like called for help on the radio i was like i, I was like i need help <laughs> It's a funny. This is terrible. Uh, I need help. I'm out laying on the floor in a fetal position. In the- <laughs> Literally, that's what it was like. Literally, I got the death dookies. I need somebody to get here now. I'm trying uh, to shit and I can't. <laughs> so then our manager at the time, Cam, he came up and he was like, he was like, man, Ben, he was like, I really just want to make you shit yourself. So I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to make you laugh as hard as I can. And he kept telling me stupid jokes and just trying to make me laugh. And I was like, dude, you're a terrible person. You are a terrible person. So it didn't help, did it? No, it did not. Um, so, how, so how did you get to the point that your wife was willing to go out in a wheelchair? So they came up to the bathroom and like knocked on the door. And I was like, I literally can't stand. I was like, I literally don't. I literally cannot stand. So they got and went and got a wheelchair. And then they wheeled me to the elevator and got me downstairs. And, and <laughs> wheeled me out the door, helped me into the car. And Samantha drove me home. <laughs> Keep in mind, because oh this is just part, uh, part of the thing. Keep in mind, Ben is not married. So really, what actually happened was he wheeled himself out in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, Ben uh, Ben doesn't actually have a wife. <laughs> so he did all this by himself, but he maintains that his wife came and did it for him. But dude, listen. Uh, ben, this is no shade at you. It's rough, just... Dude. Dude, hey, difficult things happen to people, but they're funny stories, you know? Yeah. You just got to laugh fun. laugh at it, man. Listen, the first time oh, I, I ever... I do laugh at it. It was <laughs> rough, though. <laughs> yeah. First time I ever ate Blazing Wings, the next day I was on the toilet, and I actually, like, I got constipated, and it burned, and I played. Oh, no. I prayed for, like, seriously 20 minutes. I was like, I'll never eat Blazing Wings again, <laughs> Lord. Please help me. I, got, I can't do this right now. I'm dying. <laughs> It hurts so bad. I was like, I'll never do it again. And then like a month later, I did it again. And then I had the same thing. I was like, I know I said I wouldn't do it again. But like, seriously, <laughs> this time is the last time I swear. I promise. I promise this time I won't do it. So, hey, oh, uh, man. Sometimes you That's gotta, so sometimes funny. You just, sometimes you just get the poo-poos and you got to yeah. go. And then Except for you, when you're in my case, you just get... That would All be the pain worst. And no poo poos. That would be the That's worst. Prob- you can't like poop, and it's just like just all it, pain. Literally, it feels like the <clears throat> it, the sensation is that it feels like you have to, but you can't. That's horrible. <laughs> what did the doctor say, Ben? <laughs> Not only that, the, I never went to the doctor. What? Not only that, but it also it was incredible pain. It felt like I had to poop and I couldn't, and it was just it was just terrible. Wow. I wonder if maybe you had like a twisted intestine or something. That that could be that. Maybe and it just untwisted itself. Yeah, they do that. That does happen. Weird. 
Why are you getting? Could have been a real bad gas closed, bubble, man. Yeah, could have been a real bad gas bubble too. That's something. Hey, I mean, I've had a, I've had yeah. bad gas in the past, but bubble. still, that's man. I'm just like <laughs> imagine being in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole like theater group is just like <laughs> thankfully it was pretty it's like, it. thankfully, what happened it was to ben what happened to night. ben he has to shit at, at night and nobody was there pretty much oh. so it was it was yeah it was like right before close it was pretty close to close. oh so, man and you know what this is how ben knows that his wife that doesn't exist truly loves him yeah it's because she still married him after that. She was like, listen, mm-hmm. yeah, if he can she, overcome this, then I know he's the one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, like and you know, me after that. Ben, nope. Ben's an overcomer. He overcame it, you know? Yeah, he can't. He, hey, he's here. Yeah, he's here. I didn't die after all. Not from that. A lot of yeah. other things have tried to kill me since then, but <laughs> I wasn't one of them. Yeah, and you tried to kill us with the Rona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, you tried to give it to us and we stopped you. No. Well, so you know, keep your super corona to yourself. I ben. think you guys are remembering this wrong. Stuff your corona <laughs> up your butt with your with your frozen poo poo and get out of here. And then uh, Ben almost killed us today while we were driving around. So yeah, well, yeah, whoa, yeah. But you know, trying to shoot videos for a channel and Ben's driving up over curbs, trying to run <laughs> run over homeless guys in the street, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well speaking of things yeah that didn't happen yeah sometimes people think happen because mm-hmm. perception is a weird thing Perception's sometimes we think thing. things happen that didn't and there's actually a phenomenon for this it's called the mandela effect Ooh. and i think it's something no that we kidding. should talk about today um let's talk happens, about the mandela effect let's talk about the mandela effect let's i think it happens it. a lot you know i mean obviously <laughs> With Ben, it happens a lot with people that are around him. We think yeah. of stories that never happened with Ben. Um, <laughs> ben thinks he has a wife that doesn't exist. It's just a lot of things. And yeah. so um, I think you have the list, Josiah, don't you? I do indeed. Um, so just to kind of give a little bit of uh, backstory to what the Mandela effect is all about, in case yeah. you aren't aware, um, the, the reason why the Mandela effect started in the first place was because of, well, Nelson Mandela, uh, who the theory is uh, named after, who died in 2013. However, countless people distinctly remember him dying in prison in the 1980s. Uh, But his death isn't the only example of a Mandela effect. Uh, So there's a whole bunch that we have here. And uh, we're going to kind of just go through them. And uh, do you guys all have the list pulled up here? I'm pulling it up right now. All right. So uh, the first one, you know, they have like Jiffy and Jiff um let's see which one is let's go through ones that you were that you thought were were the actual case okay so i actually take a second i'm still thinking about men getting wheeled out of a bath (laughs) (laughs) i'm glad on the floor with the radio help I can't. Can you imagine just going into the bathroom and seeing Ben just laying on the floor? I can't poop. I need help. (laughs) Somebody get here now. I'm glad that my pain is entertaining to you. Listen, I just can't, man. I don't Uh, know. So funny, dude. All right. Okay, so um, I don't know about you guys, but there are a couple on here that I definitely feel like I remember a certain way. Like the Berenstein Bears, like I totally thought that it was like the Berenstein Bears, like absolutely one hundred percent. That was Thanks. that was actually the thing, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That was like the very first thing I heard about the Mandela effect that made me go, like, "Wait, what? That's not yeah. it's not Berenstein? What? Yeah." No, um, so just for people record, just so that because people can't, yeah, the Berenstein Bears spelled B E R E N S T E I N, not spelled that way. Yeah. It's actually spelled B R E R B E. Wow. B E R E N S T A I N. It's spelled with an A. It's an and A, remember, not an E. I remember growing up and seeing it with an E all yeah. my life. Yeah. And it was always exactly. Berenstein Bears. I swear I heard it pronounced that way every yep. time I heard it. Yeah. Yep. Apparently it's not. And that's dude, that bothers me a lot. It, dude, it shook me when I first heard yeah. that for this first time. Because I literally, I like 
like the Berenstein Bears was a huge part of my childhood growing up. Same, dude. Like, and I, I swear, I remember people. I remember my parents. I remember some of my friends, their parents. I remember my friends. They would all say Berenstein Bears. I, I swear, I remember this. Berenstein, not Berenstein, Berenstein. Not ba- yeah. And I remember, yeah. I remember, I remember seeing the shows and or the movies and you know the reading the books, and I, I could, dude. I could like swear that it was Berenstein. Yeah. It's a weird thing, dude. It's yeah, such no, a weird dude. thing. Absolutely. Like I listen. So I am. I a hundred percent am with you. And yeah, there's a couple on this list for me too that are yeah. really bothering me. So just I, why don't you start? Why don't you tell us some of the ones on your list? Okay, um, so one of the ones that stuck out to me was the uh, the Monopoly Man. That one like really got me because I I could have sworn he had a monocle, but he mm-hmm. actually doesn't have a monocle. That's weird. Yeah. So uh, there's like a suggestion that that people might be getting confused with Mr. Peanut, who's like the mascot for Planters. Yeah. Um, but like he's I, dead now, by the way. I I I could have sworn that he had a monocle. Like I, I, I feel like I remember seeing him on like a bunch of like the Monopoly boxes, like the classic Monopoly boxes, and he had a monocle and stuff. So that one was like, uh, oh, another one, Fruit of the Loom. Yes. Oh my goodness, same. dude. I, I swear that cornucopia was there. I swear. <laughs> so apparently, uh, Fruit same. of the Loom. Um, there's like you know the. There's like the logo with like the the fruits and stuff, like the apple and the grapes or whatever. And um, there isn't apparently a cornucopia behind it, but people think that they're people believe that they remember seeing a cornucopia. I, I definitely remember it. Yeah. Dude, I I same, dude. I um, my 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 mom used to buy me fruit of the loom all the time <laughs> when, I, when I was a kid. And I it was there. It was there. Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember the the cornucopia. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Um, I I it's surprising to me. I don't remember that. Do you know why um, I remember the cornucopia? Why? Because that was I remember that was where I found out about the cornucopia in the first place. Because oh, I I remember seeing that logo when I was a kid, and I was like, what is this weird like like thing behind it? You know? Yeah. Fruit. And so then I remember looking it up and finding out about it and being like, oh, it's a cornucopia, you know? But apparently I, yeah. that doesn't exist. It, uh, apparently not. According to this, yeah. Apparently I, I'm insane. <laughs> a couple of the ones that really threw me off. Febreze yeah. doesn't have two E's. It has one. Yeah, that one, yeah. Nope. I'm like, no, that's bull crap. I never... The other one, and this one bothers me a lot because I swear this is the thing. Oscar Mayer is as Oscar mm. Mayer. Yeah, and I swear, yep. I'm like, I remember the song. My baloney has a first name. It's O S A A R. I'm like, yep, that's right. Mm-hmm. My baloney has a second name. It's M E Y E R. No, it's M A Y E R. I'm like, no, yeah. that's a lie. Yeah, stop. Stupid Another kids. one that um, I think is pretty commonly mistaken is the line in Empire Strikes Back with Darth Vader. Uh, he says, no, I am your father to Luke. Yeah. But a lot of people think he says, Luke, I am your father. Yeah. yeah. The the actual line is, no, I am your father. See, I, I knew that one, but that's because I'm a pretty big Star Wars buff, and I never remember right. yeah. saying There's yeah. a lot of people that uh, don't know that, though. Yeah. Um, they st- And then uh, the other one is Snow White and Snow White and the Seven Doors. The... Ever, a lot of people think the queen the queen says mirror mirror on the wall, but she actually says magic mirror on the wall. Yeah, I don't believe that at all for a second. That's definitely bullcrap. Yeah. So I yeah. can't believe that because she definitely says mirror mirror on the wall. She Who's does the fairest one of all. Nope, I refuse. Yeah, it's it's weird, man. It's weird. Yeah. Looking through Smokey the- Bears, smoke is Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. But I'm pretty sure I grew up always hearing him known as Smokey the Bear. I used to always say Smokey the Bear. Yeah. I remember that. I remember being a kid saying that. Like it's so yeah. weird. Yeah. Um let's see. What are like uh what's what are some of these other ones here? Like uh I think uh I I, I can't believe that. Billy Graham actually died in 2018. I swore he died like a long time ago <laughs> or something. <laughs> wow. That's so weird. Right? Who? Billy Graham. Billy Graham. 
Yeah, he only just died recently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just like Nelson Mandela, which is how this was all named. Yep. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. So what, what do you guys think is going on with that? What do you guys think is the, the so, whole reasoning behind that? I have heard a very theory. interesting theory about okay. this. Yeah. And it gets a little deep. We're getting ready to go down the rabbit hole. You Let's sure do about it. This? Let's freaking go, baby. All right. So what I have heard the theory about this is, is that um, the conspiracy behind it is that um, when people of high power and scientific standing go back in time and change things, that it affects our our reality <laughs> in a way that changes small things that are like affected. That's what I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, so I've heard that like there's time travel theories that they actually figured out time travel and that just little minor changes happen when they make small alterations, which is why things look different than they do. Um, that's one of the ones that I've heard. My favorite one though, and this is, this is my absolute favorite of the theories is that we are in an alternate timeline where Basically, what happens is when there's like a catastrophic event that happens in our timeline that causes like everything to end, the world to end, or bad things to end, or somebody opens up a wormhole in our universe, whatever, that reality tries to correct itself by coming to the closest possible timeline to the previous one that was damaged. Mm. And so, like, minor <laughs> changes that happen happen like this, like Berenstein to Berenstein, because yeah. it was just a minor change, but like everything else in our timeline is pretty much the same yeah but that as we get closer and closer to like the end um that like there'll be more and more mandela effect changes and more and more like little things that are remembered that until one day it's all completely different gotcha yeah yeah i uh, mean that's kind of what they're basing the most recent thing off of with like 2012 right because that's kind of like the end of the world that was supposed to happen and stuff and so yeah. People are like, oh, well, you know, that makes sense because a, a lot of people thought that Nelson Mandela died in 2013 and stuff, you know? So, right. um, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think about that, Ben? Well, that, that brings me to a theory I have about other things that are not dealing with the Mandela effect. But I okay. guess I could bring it up because it has to do with, like, time travel. Yeah. Um, but it actually brought me to the concept of deja vu. Yeah. So um, oh. my theory for deja vu... Like I, I feel like there's a there's no really no way to explain it, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like there has to be something involved there, either some sort of foresight <laughs> or some sort of time travel. Like we've been there before. Like that's the, the, the to me, deja vu is the scary one of these scariest things. I I literally hate it so much. Really? Yeah, because it's it's terrifying. Like you you literally are sitting in situations that you're like, I know I've been through this. Yeah, before. yeah. And that, that's scary to me. It's weird. So, it's super weird, dude. It's super weird. And I've yeah. had sometimes where it happens and it's vivid for like five yep. minutes and it's yep. the same thing. And so I have to do everything possible to break out of it. Um, and so I've always wondered, like, I was like, that's really creepy. You know, like, mm -hmm. what if that, it, what if humans actually have the natural ability of like foresight? um or or visions i mean because you know like i mean there's been there's been talk of people who have who have visions and who have you know seen things that are have not come to pass yet um yep. and stuff like that so you know like it is definitely a possibility but mm -hmm. i mean it's a, a, another idea would be something like time travel like you know like you've somehow you've been you've lived this before but you've maybe traveled back in time to live your life over again or something like that yeah, um, yeah. And that's all like remnants of that. So I guess it could be used for the same reasoning. It's like the Mandela effect. Um, it yeah. sucks that I don't get to go back and like do things differently now. I'm like, dang, it would have been right. nice to like, you know, just relive know. the whole life again and fix it all to invest in Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> you know but, what I think? Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a hot take here. Oh, here we go. I don't believe that time travel is possible. Get out. I don't believe that it can that don't, it can exist. You don't get to be in this podcast. I'm pretty sure you've talked. I'm pretty sure you've talked about it a few times. I have. I have. Get out. That is like one of the things that I'm pretty firm about. That I don't think it's possible. I don't think that. I mean, time is in a way kind of like a man-made concept. It's a, it's a construct. Yeah, and um, like the only reason why time exists is because it is something that we have created. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like because. 
they're i mean obviously like everything that time is based on is based on like you know the rotation of the sun or the the earth around the sun and stuff not the sun but like what you know the the around the sun and all that stuff so um i don't know i just don't think that uh that there is necessarily such a thing as like a actual timeline you know hmm interesting hmm. do you believe that well if you don't believe in time travel then chances are you don't believe in any sort of alternate reality i don't know i don't know how i feel about that because like an uh, alternate universe or it, even like an alternate version of our <laughs> own reality mm-hmm. I don't know. I could, I could maybe see something like that possible. Like maybe possible. that's why black, like what happens with black hole. I just don't think that there's ever going to be a point where humans will be able to create a machine to be able to go back in time. If that makes okay. sense. Yeah. Like see, I could see, I could see like alternate realities possibly being a thing. I mean, you know, there's some like scientific, I guess, things to back that up with yeah. um, parallel universe type stuff. But I don't think that humans will ever have some sort of machine that they can use to go back in time. To access that? Yeah. I think that there could be things that we could do that could maybe be kind of like we're mimicking going back in time. Like uh, kind of like in Assassin's Creed, you know, harnessing the, yeah, memories yeah, yeah. of our ancestors, that type of stuff. Maybe there's that some way that we can do cool, something dude. like that. But I don't think there's going to be a way f- ever a way for like us to physically be able to go back in time. So, right. I don't know. Those are my that, that's my hot take. Yeah. You guys can yeah. agree, disagree. Well, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Come on, what do you no, think? I mean, go ahead, Ben. Go ahead. No, I was I was gonna say I already. Yeah, you've already mentioned that a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mentioned you've already the- mentioned a few times. Just saying, <laughs> shut the frick up about it. <laughs> well, you might have mentioned that one just when Mike was gone. Actually. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it, it was when uh, when Joe yeah. was here. So, yeah. yeah. So I I have a I have an interesting thought about it because you know I think one of the things that gets um, thought about when we talk about time travel is like somebody building a machine that can affect time and blah 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 space and time right yeah but um, and and this is actually touched on a little bit in Interstellar which I think is interesting because th- there's definitely there you know um, overrated director himself Christopher Nolan who definitely doesn't ever do any research in his movies um kind of theorized and this is actually a theory that even time itself is affected by like black holes and stuff and that maybe potentially going and being affected by like a black hole that you could potentially experience like a time shift because there are like planets that there are actual planets and stuff based on the science that the way that they rotate and the way that they function like a day on those planets is like years back on earth. Yeah. So like, because time is like relative and stuff, it's interesting to think that if, if you can go somewhere and find like, because one of the things they've discovered is like um, astronauts age slower in space so like the higher up you get from space the 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 uh, the slower you age and so like their body ages like six months while they're up there for a year things like that you know so there's some weird like obvious effects on time and the flow of time and if time's like a river and is going in one direction and but you can find like slower currents in the river then to me stands to reason that there may be a possibility there may be some place in the universe where if you step into it, you could potentially stop the river or swim up the river if you had some assistance. Um, I think that if you got close enough to a black hole, you probably would get crushed and destroyed or you yeah. would cease cease to be what you are. Because I almost sometimes wonder if maybe it's not even that you'd get destroyed, but you'd get turned into something beyond what you normally like can Black Quantify. holes are so fascinating, dude. <laughs> they really are. I mean, like, yeah. and, and scientifically, like, they they say that what if what technically would happen is if you went through a dark hole is you would like stretch your entire DNA dark hole, stretch. a black hole. Sorry, a black hole. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> <laughs> those dark holes, man. You gotta <laughs> stay away from those. Anyway, what were you saying, Ben? With you, uh, you stretch right. I'll with, be right back. My imaginary wife and my child are in the background, so they're you might hear a baby screaming. Oh, okay. ah, he's very. Dad! Um, but no, I think that uh, I think the whole concept of 
black holes is fascinating. Yeah. And I think there's got to be like, since we don't, we so we know such like so little about them technically, like we know that there's got to be some sort of like dark energy or something like that. And a lot of yeah. weird stuff there, but, but beyond that, we don't know a whole lot. Yeah. Um, we've never sent somebody or something into a black hole. So we should do, we should do an episode about black holes sometime soon. That'd be fun. Yeah. Or just space in general. I mean, just space is a fascinating, it's fascinating. Dark holes. (laughs) Dark holes in space. (laughs) What happens when you put something into a dark hole? (laughs) I don't know what does happen when you put something into a dark hole. (laughs) Cringe. That's for you to find out, Ben. (laughs) Bet you it is. So, yeah, I mean, the whole. I guess time idea is interesting in itself. Um, as far as like yeah. the Mandela effect goes and stuff, like it could, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm open to the idea of like parallel, I guess, timelines being split up and stuff because of uh, chaotic events that happen or whatever, but it could also yeah. just be something like, you know, our brains like try to make sense of a, of a certain image or something. And that's how we perceive it in our minds. Mm-hmm. When we find out that's not how it actually is, and our brains are like, whoa, what? You know? So it could yeah. be just something like that, something simple like that. Well, it could uh, be like a yeah. collective like laziness just as human beings that like st- Stein is easier than Stain to yeah. say. So mm-hmm. it could just be everybody's like Berenstein because yeah. Yeah. that's just the way that they pronounce it. Because like we have weird ways of pronouncing things where we live. Yeah, apparently. true. Yeah. We call like soda, ugh, pop. But I call it pop because that's how I grew up. Yeah. But other people are like, it's soda. Dude, I flip uh, out on people when they call it soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll come at you like a yeah. spider monkey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, no, it's it's not. It's it's pop. Yeah, it's they pop. pop. They come pop. on. Pop, 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 pop. People are like, no, it's soda. And I'm like, no, you can. Do you, do you not realize how soda stupid you sound of... when you say yeah. soda? Yeah. Soda. What about soda pop? that's even worse well you know that's just trying to play the both sides of the fence and that'll get you a loss every time yeah because everybody hates you yeah yeah you're just like whoa whoa you're like, get out, out. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh man um so i don't know i i think that i think the idea is really interesting um one of my favorite like things in um I know Ben hates this book, but whatever. Um, in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, like the whole point of the book is these guys trying to find out the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they already found out the answer. Like these alien species find out the answer, and the answer is 42. But then they don't know what the question is. So they have to figure out what the question of life, the universe, and everything is. So they build Earth, which is like a giant supercomputer, to like compute the answer. And in the book, it's like, minutes before the, 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 com- the computer finishes compiling the answer, it gets destroyed oh, um, no. by an alien species to make way for a space highway. Um, but one of my favorite things is that I think it's in the second or third book. There's like a little excerpt at the very beginning that says, if somebody ever does discover the answer to life, the universe and everything, and the question to life, the universe and everything, that the universe will just like, completely like implode and create something just even more chaotic like yeet itself yeah. <laughs> just it because it, like peace i'm out yeah so then it's like it doesn't even matter if you actually figure it out yeah because it'll probably just make something more chaotic because how dare you and yeah. so sometimes it almost feels like what if like that's what's been happening like what if slowly over time like people have figured the th- figured things out and the universe is like scrambling to like screw it all up for us like there's just some like <laughs> Just this, like, this weird, like, chaotic, like, energy that's just like, no, like, you can't figure me out. You don't know me. Like, <laughs> that just tries to completely, like, throw everything off. So it's like, you know what? All right, fine. It's Baron Stain now. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's Jif peanut butter. You're like, I thought it was Jiffy. It's like, shut up. You know? So, like, that's yeah. sometimes how it feels. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or, like, even, and it's all little stuff, but it's enough stuff to, like, it's that like weird gaslighting feeling where you're like, yeah, like one thing, two things, but like when there's a bunch of things that add up that you're like, no, I distinctly remember this being something, it yeah. just starts to feel a little weird. You, you know? start to think that you're crazy or something, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I don't know. It's it's such a weird thing. I guess we'll, I don't know if we'll ever know the true answer to it really, but um, if we the, ever theories, find out. the theories yeah. are great. The yeah. The theories are, great. are what's up. Um, yeah. But yeah, it kind of makes me think of like, and I, I absolutely hate this movie. I hate this movie. Uh-oh. 
Here we go. But uh, the um, Indiana Jones 4. Oh, like, yeah, King of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, terrible movie. But yeah, It's awful. But the one scene that I found to be very interesting was at the end when uh, Kate Blanchett's character, like, had like the the power to know everything and then she like basically blew up because <laughs> she couldn't handle all yeah. of that you know i was like oh my god because that's literally what it would be like yeah. like if like i don't think a human could process everything no. you know like that like they they wouldn't be able to just comprehend it and it, it, you'd die you just yeah. <laughs> you'd, yeah, you'd, you'd just, blow up you'd explode. Just explode. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of just as a little little just a little little thing yeah, about just that uh, about that little Indiana Jones movie. So yeah, apparently when they were um, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg were making it together, um, the conversation they had was George was like, "Well, we should do Aliens. We should absolutely do Aliens." And Steven Spielberg was like, "Nah, George, you did Star Wars and I did ET and you know Close Encounters of the Third Kind and stuff. Like, no, we don't need to do more Aliens." And and George was like, "Well, I don't know. I think Aliens are a good idea." Mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg was like, "We'll table it." We'll talk about it some other time. So then apparently they part ways and they come back together to work on the story again. And George is like, hey, check this out. I got a new idea. What about extra dimensional beings? And <laughs> Steve's like, okay, uh, I'll bite. What do they uh -huh. look like? He goes, they look just like aliens. <laughs> and at that point, Steven Spielberg basically realized he couldn't argue with George Lucas about it anymore. So he just gave him what he wanted. That's so funny. So it's just funny to me that like even the whole thing about aliens was literally just Steven Spielberg giving George Lucas what he wanted. <laughs> He's just like just whatever, like, George. It doesn't make any sense. No, no, not at Indiana all. Indiana Jones as a story, like it just doesn't make sense. Nope. No, you're just like, wait, why are there aliens? <laughs> yeah. You know, like why did we even need this story? We didn't. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah, but George Lucas wanted aliens, man. So hey, man, George so gets what George like, wants, you know. George gets what he, yeah. what he wants. Well, right. well, he got sort of what he wanted because he literally just made him extra-dimensional beings. Yeah, like, true. Exactly like aliens. Yeah. It's like they just they just never called them aliens. So yeah, yeah, it worked out. You know, they yeah. just had crystal skulls apparently or something. So yeah. <laughs> well, dude, that's a whole thing we can look into too. I mean, dude, the crystal skulls. All the, oh yeah, the theories about crystal skulls. Oh yeah. Seriously. I know about what Mike's talking. You about. You ever heard about this, Josiah? No, dude, they they're all over the world. Like not just in one specific what? place. All over the world, they have found these crystal skulls. They are like extremely well crafted. They found some that are not as well crafted, but most of the ones that they found are like extremely polished and cut and carved, and they're like 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 masterpieces of like crafting. And there are these skulls that are made out of crystal and they find them all over the world. They have no idea who's done them or where they came from. And that, and that the evidence for where they have found them, which makes it hard to know if they're, they're complete hoaxes or if they're real is that the technology that you would have to use to make them didn't exist. Really? They're so like, yeah, they're so perfectly um, created. Wow. That's, Hey, listen, if we want to get into crystal skull territory, I will, we'll, we'll go up that mountain, you know? Do you think, uh, should we save that for like an episode in itself or? Or something along those lines, you know, I think we'll talk about a lot of other things too, but yeah. 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 Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So they, I mean, so they just find these all over there. the place, huh? They just find these skulls. All I was going to say, did, I, thought, I feel like they were found in like South America um, or something, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it was somewhere else. Huh. I mean, South America. America is such a crazy place. Like, it's, there's so I mean, much like so freaking cool, dude. There's so much and, crazy stuff there. Like, yeah, so much mystery. I guess you could say in South America. Well, I mean, just think about who was in South America. I mean, you had the Mayans, you had the Aztecs, yeah, um, you had the Incas. You had a lot of just like incredibly interesting and complex uh, natives of the land um, mm -hmm. there. You know, thousands of years ago or whatever. How long yeah. ago? Um, and it's just fascinating stuff. It's really interesting. They've got a lot of interesting and, and rich history and culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's true. That's it's still true. being discovered to this day. Like, I mean, there's still so much stuff that's being discovered. Like, I guarantee you, like, like we've talked about with dinosaurs and stuff. I think the majority of dinosaurs would be where South America is today. Yeah, probably. Um, it, it just likely. seems like it makes sense. That's where, you know, that's where the megatherium was. <laughs> And uh, you know a lot of other a lot of other animals like that. So, 
<laughs> Leads to reason. Megatherium isn't a dinosaur, Ben. Yeah, and also the no, but it was around. Died. It took a it took a meteor to kill the dinosaurs, and that thing died because it got too cold. <laughs> well, we don't even. It you know got what? Killed by people. To be fair, we don't even know if it got too cold. He just got yeeted off the planet. Yeah, by people. In like the worst way possible. He, well, then he sucks even worse than the dinosaurs did. <laughs> it took a giant meteor crashing into the earth and like all kinds of horrible, horrible, catastrophic things happening in the world to kill off the dinosaurs. And Magath Magatherium is just like, oh, I've been yeeted. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably why most of the dinosaurs died too. People probably That's freaked fair. them up. That's, it's fair. It's very possible. I mean, that's that's why I think a lot of the medieval legends about, you know, knights killing dragons is based on, too. Yeah. I it, mean, they, they literally have, like, dinosaurs well, I think, carved into their churches. So, like... Yeah. Well, I always thought, you know, I mean, be, me, us being the of the faith that we are and stuff, like, believing in the, the flood and stuff like that, and believing that there's a lot of evidence that, like, there was some kind of catastrophic event that happened to create the fossils that we have today and stuff like that, um, it's very possible that you know some of those dinosaurs did survive. Yeah. You know, I mean, we know that we know that the flood, ha like the flood happening, you know, Noah experienced what he experienced, but we don't know if, what if there were places dinosaurs, but what if there were mountain peaks and things like that that did, weren't affected, where dinosaurs were living, that they some of them survived and you know moved around the planet and mm -hmm. you know or you know I mean, I mean there's all kinds of things. Like, yeah, I mean. And more than likely Noah brought at least some of the dinosaurs on the ark and stuff too. Yeah. But dinosaurs being like reptiles and stuff, they probably don't reproduce as easily as like um, mammals, and, mammals and things like that. Yeah. So yeah, they probably had a hard time, you know, trying to, trying to kind of come back from that a little bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, cause I, you know, I have, there's some, I think there's some interesting theories, even like, um, uh, when you start like looking into like the whole scripture about like the Leviathan, yeah, it, like describes very much like sounds like a dragon, dude. I want I, I, I want to freaking slap people when they think that it's a crocodile or a hippo or something. I'm yeah. like, what? It talks about some crazy <laughs> stuff. Like, I mean, like it talks about spears like clanging against the skin and yeah. stuff. So, like, what if you know? What if like the reptiles we have today are just deep descendants of these creatures? Because like, could be if I was if you were a crocodile that came from you know, a, like, let's say you were like a descendant of a crocodile or ancestor of a crocodile. So you like obviously have aquatic capabilities. You're massive because they were probably way bigger. And if they live in a primarily like super heated, warmed environment where they grew to massive sizes beyond, because we've seen that when they, when they build like biodomes and stuff, the creatures in biodomes get bigger than they do naturally. I mean, and if you have generation after generation of that, you know, and stuff like that. And then what if, you know, some of the, like, things that we hear about, like, fire-breathing dragons and stuff like that is just the natural, like, their natural, maybe, what if they lived in hot springs? What if they live, often we hear about them in caves. We know that hot springs are in caves and stuff. So what if these things are living in a place where it's so hot and, like, so their body's processing heat like that, so it seems like they could breathe fire out of their, you know? Mm hmm yeah, crazy stuff. I mean, like, there's. I think sometimes yep. there's plausibility for some of the things that we see that people think are just like absolutely insane. But like, you know, yeah. even unicorns. Like, I mean, could have been. Well, we talked about, about unicorns. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did. We did. And uh, the interesting thing about some of those things, like unicorns and dragons specifically, is that pretty much every culture and mythology has some form of dragon. Or you know? yeah, and like if everybody is so spread out and they aren't. They have so many vast different types of mythologies and stuff. Yeah. It's interesting how they have some consistencies in them as far as like dragons go and things like that. So yeah, it's really interesting. Um, and I, I do believe that a lot of that is based off of like dinosaurs and things like that. Um, yeah. And even just think about like people, if, if uh, people lived such long lifespans before the flood and stuff, and then all of that kind of, went to pot after <laughs> after the flood because the the entire atmosphere changed a lot of people think that like the the uv rays of the sun or whatever kind of got fricked up too and stuff so yep. you know and because of the atmosphere changing and stuff smaller. and so people you know people might have been more like superhumans back before the flood and stuff i wouldn't yeah. be surprised by that either so yeah they lived longer well, and all that crap so well like there's science science to to 
back up the fact that like some of the like the oxygen in our environment that we breathe in and stuff like that is like actually almost toxic to our bodies yeah but like we actually breathe poison and like that's why we end up dying over time and so it's almost like maybe back then we 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 lived in a much like richer environment yeah. and so yeah we could live a lot longer you mm -hmm. know and you'd also yep. have to think like if we had that much of a rich like oxygen rich environment to live in we were probably thriving and yeah. able to like function at a higher rate than we do now I, you know it could just be a i mean our maybe our entire just like environment and atmosphere here just got made it so much harder for dinosaurs to live in and stuff too yeah they're like so. bro i can't breathe like, <laughs> I can't do this. No I more, can't freaking do this, man. <laughs> what the fuck like, did you guys all die? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, what, what is in the dinosaurs? I mean, actually, beavers them, so. used to be big, yep. bigger too. Like, just look at the beavers. The be beavers used to be bigger. Like, there's giant yeah. beavers and stuff. Carter, yeah. like an example. There. Like, there's well, like, and, those giant turtles, like, that were like the size of cars and stuff. Yeah. Like, well, and then it stands to reason. That the one, the last vestiges that we see in the world of giant creatures are furry creatures, like yeah. saber toothed tigers. Maybe yeah. they were just tiger descent, tigers descended from them. Yeah. You know, woolly mammoths, like they're basically just giant elephants. You know, yeah. phagorhythms <laughs> were giant sloths. You know, but they were they were furry creatures. So maybe yeah. over time, like these creatures shed their skin because of their fur because they didn't need them needed as much you know but they had to get smaller because they just didn't have the environment to thrive in yeah you know yep. yeah yeah it's it's very possible you know could be what do you think about all that ben wow be excited about it know, why man. don't you <laughs> be honest that's just <laughs> ben, ben just contributes here. so much to these conversations it's great it's amazing. It's, it's you guys awesome. are just going. You're on your tangents, and I'm just like, you know, what? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just let it, I'm gonna let them talk. <laughs> they seem they seem happy. Well, I don't want to say anything, Ben. Do you have things to disagree with? Yeah, yeah, if you have, if you disagree with us, bring it up. Give let's, us a hot take, Ben. No. Um, What's your hot my take? My hot take is that the Megatheriums actually kill all the dinosaurs. <laughs> and yeah. Well, we know it. that didn't happen because they got Megatherians killed by people. Are, Megatheriums are king. Well, well, we know that's not true because they got killed by people. <laughs> Wouldn't squirrels well, do more king than Megatheriums because yeah. they're around and the Megatheriums <laughs> aren't? <laughs> like, don't stab me with that stick, bro. Oh. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> I know I'm bigger than you. I, I know I'm way bigger than you and I can beat you up, but don't do it. I'll, I'll mess you up, man. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'll, I'll throw myself in this tar pit here. <laughs> Don't you make me do it. I'll die in this mud right now. I'll put myself in that hole. I'll step in that hole yeah. and I'll die. I'll step right in that hole and die right now. I'll do it. Yep. Well, okay. hey, at least, um, you know, thanks thanks for your, your interesting contributions, Ben, to, to, to the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you are a valued member of this team. Well, now I don't feel like it. <laughs> You are appreciated, Ben. I really don't feel like it now. <laughs> I mean, do you have anything? Do you have anything interesting to say? Not really. I mean, you guys kind of covered it all. I didn't. I didn't even get off on this tangent. You just started talking about dinosaurs again, and I was like, "Well, wow." Maybe Ben's like having an anxiety attack because we're going off tangent. He's like, "I, wow. miss, I don't know I what miss, to do. I don't know what to do." <laughs> I miss. I miss the dinosaurs. I miss my dinosaur pals. No, you and don't. I you don't, don't want them. them you don't, don't want us to bring them back. back. Yeah, you like, you get mad at us when we talk about bringing them back. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, no, let those fricks die. <laughs> They're dead for a reason. <laughs> let them die. Kill yeah, them. They, they got. They, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> poor dinosaurs. Poor yeah. dinosaurs. I know. Rip. Yeah. Poor. Apparently, but apparently, like, if we could bring back that stupid giant sloth, Ben would be super happy. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. He'd be like, "Yes, bring it back." Well, Ben, Ben's ready to go on an expedition to find them. So I am. Yeah, I'm gonna you know. find them. Yeah, we'll see. Go, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll make that a video. They'll see him and it'll be like, "Ooh!" It'll fall on the carpet <laughs> and he'll kill the last one. <laughs> ben just stands there and watches it drown, drown in the carpet. Man, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it just be karma though if we went on an expedition to find the giant sloth we found one and then it just yeeted mike 
That wouldn't be karma. It'd be the funniest thing ever. He just fell in the tar pit and died, though. No, it would probably be hilarious. <laughs> no, but if, if anybody's going to get attacked by an animal, it's going to be you. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, that. Because that's, po- that's like cruel irony that, yeah, we find the giant sloth and it's just like, <laughs> and Ben just dies. <laughs> Hey man, I'll take that over a lot it's of ways like, to go. I out. loved you. And it's like <laughs> you die, you piece of shit. <laughs> and it will poke him with some sharp sticks and it'll die itself. <laughs> like, oh, I was ready for that. <laughs> My weakness. Sharp sticks. <laughs> Is that a pointy rock on the end of that sharp stick? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just I can't believe the 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 just how rude you are to the tournament lost. <laughs> Poor guy. He didn't do anything. <laughs> hey man, he's the one that died off like that. You no. Know? He didn't do anything to me, but he also hasn't done anything for me. So yeah. What a, um... <laughs> Dinosaurs gave me Jurassic Park, and yeah. I have everything to be happy about True. that with. Yeah. 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 Where's where's the Big Ethereum Park movie? <laughs> yeah. They just slowly eat grass the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then find they're stuck in mud and they just die. <laughs> just like, guess I'll just die. That's the whole movie. The the only thing we've gotten as far as like a giant sloth is Sid from Ice Age. And yeah, it's like not cool. No, <laughs> look what happened cool to him. He almost died in a tar pit. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Sid is a terrible character. <laughs> yes, hey, he he's is. Giant sloth, bro. Terrible. He's a giant sloth, I, I, bro. I freaking hate Sid. Sid's terrible. There's there's poor representation of giant sloth. <laughs> Well, Ben, maybe you should fix that. Maybe, maybe you should, should do an animated a movie, an animated movie about a giant sloth, and make it like yeah, well. uh, it's like John Wick the sloth. Yeah, where he just sloth goes and murders a bunch of humans. Sure, he kills the humans that kills. He family. just like emerges from a tar pit after thousands of years, and he just yeah. like, starts killing people. Yeah, <laughs> yes, dude, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I'd watch. I'd watch that heck out of that. <laughs> I'd watch that. That, that sounds pretty yeah, funny. That'd be great. Anyway, um, so. What do you guys got for uh, for recommends this week? What do we got going recommends on? Recommends this week. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead, Ben. Go ahead, Ben. No, I'm thinking. I just said, um. <laughs> wow, Ben. Um, <laughs> I am going to recommend. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to go out and see it. But I'm kind of thinking we should just support movies like this. Go out and watch uh, Nobody. Um, yeah. With Bob Odenkirk. I kind of want to see it. It looks like a... Very stereotypical, like, older actor plays action hero. But, like, listen, that's what Taken was. We all went and saw Taken because Liam Neeson was in it. We wouldn't have saw it if it was some young up-and-coming guy. Like, half the people would have went and gone and saw it. We saw it because of Liam Neeson. It was good stuff. Um, We went and saw John Wick because of Keanu Reeves and because it looked awesome, and it was. And then Bob Odenkirk. And apparently he did a bunch of his own stunts. He put into work he got jacked on all on his own and this guy was a comedian who is like kind of goofy in a lot of his stuff and here he is now you know in breaking bad and doing his thing and then now here he is in an action movie and i think he deserves the 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 praise and the accolades for it so mm-hmm. yeah yeah go see nobody this stuff. weekend ben uh... <laughs> go watch sloth killer well, you know, not a week goes by where I don't mention Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> go watch, um, if you haven't yet, go watch Godzilla vs. Kong. Speaking of, you know, wow. dinosaurs, lizards, and gorillas, and giant fluffy things, fuzzy furry things. Wow. It's, uh, it's a, it's a f- really fun movie, and it's uh, I like to see movies like that these days, so... Go see it if you haven't. If not, also Mortal Kombat comes out in a week. So yeah, but that's next week. That's when we talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh and, and Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Don't forget that. Yeah, don't for, don't don't forget Blade Runner twenty forty nine. I don't I don't, don't think our audience has forgotten it. <laughs> don't don't forget it. <laughs> you remind them every week. So <laughs> don't forget about the Megatheriums either. Oh wow! You know what I just found out? I just looked it up. So this. Sloth isn't even a Megatherium, so get wrecked. What? He's just a regular sloth. Yeah, he's just a regular freaking sloth. The Megatherium? No, Sid the Sloth from Oh, Sid the Sloth. Oh. He's just a regular freaking sloth. They don't even... Well, 
you know what? Megatherium didn't even get his own movie. He couldn't even appear wow. in an Ice so, Age movie. Giant Sloth hasn't even made an appearance at all. Yikes. Man. I got I guess I gotta make a movie about They, they rather anyway. gave the they, they they gave the movie to a normal sloth over a giant sloth. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Man. Makes me sad. <laughs> well, makes him sad. He's dead, all right, so. Josiah, what's what's your recommend? Um you know what? I, I've been kind of obsessed about this uh YouTube channel recently, ever since Ben recommended it to me. Uh Yes Theory. If you guys haven't seen Yes Theory, I highly recommend going and watching their videos. I've been pretty much binging like as many of their videos as I can, and I've been kind of addicted to them. Uh, so I love good, their dude. content. It's They're like so good. it's really good, mm-hmm. and it's always been like the type of content that I've wanted to make on YouTube and stuff. And hopefully, what we will slowly start to make over on Epic Man. So uh, making some of that more type of yep. fun type of content, um, and uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but. Uh, but yeah, I, I like them a lot. So go check out their channel. It's good yeah. stuff. Your stuff. That is very good. And stuff. real quick, while we're, I just wanted to, I just want to throw this to to Ben because I think this is, I I think this is fair to Ben. I just looked it up. A movie called Unknown Island. It came out like 15 years after the first King Kong came out, and the the main monster in the movie is a Megatherium. He's a man eating oh. Megatherium. That wouldn't wow. be realistic though. I don't think. I don't think Megatheriums ate people. Well, this one does, and he apparently is getting revenge on people, like you freaking said, Ben. He's going around and he's eating dudes and getting them and eating them what up. What's this movie so called? It's called All- Unknown Island. It came out in 1948. I wish people made more movies like so that. Maybe it came days. out 15 years before Kong. Maybe I read it wrong. There was so yeah. like, oh, man, like I, I wish that people would just make more like mysterious monster movies and stuff. Like that'd be so cool. Yeah, same dude. I'm, I'm all about awful. that type of stuff. The, the graphics and everything in the, in the, the well, yeah, I mean, look terrible, but that'd be like hey. what the 40s sometime or something, so yeah, yeah, probably is yeah, awful. they killed, yeah, but it hey, probably is, but hey, there you go, you got your giant sloth, Ben, yeah, so you were right, Ben. Well, There's he a movie doesn't really look like a sloth, he looks like a like a orangutan, but <laughs> so. never good enough for you, Ben. <laughs> it isn't, it isn't good enough to this proper sloth representation, <laughs> anyway. With that being said. That's going to be it for this week. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. We appreciate it a lot. We hope that you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, a review, all of that stuff. A comment. Please leave a comment as well. We appreciate that a lot. So, um, yeah, We love your comments, guys. We do. We do. So hope you guys enjoyed, and we will talk to you all next week. Bye. Bye.